All right, everybody, so welcome back. So today we're gonna to be talking about the hindsight. So the hindsight is a pretty unique sight. A lot of people don't know what it is. <clears throat> so let me uh, show you what it is actually here. This is the Signature Series Tom Miranda hindsight. They don't make this one anymore, but you can still get the Eclipse and they have the Eclipse 3 and the Eclipse 5. Five would be five pins, Eclipse 3 is three pins. And it also has a spot so that you can put a light on it as well. And they've also changed the rear aperture. Um, now they still offer the X pattern, but now they have one what's called a Twilight, which has got two um, of these uh, apertures, one on either side that the center on both sides glow. So these actually glow once you have them out in the sun or, um, if you had like one of those, uh, I think it's like an ultraviolet light, those will glow for a while. So the way this is used, on my bow I have five pins. I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So in order to use this, you need to have your rear sight set up on a reference pin. My reference pin is the 40 yard pin, which is my middle pin. So if you were to use this and then put this, this aperture on the front sight, you would probably, most likely you're going to shoot straight down. Where if you keep it in the center, where you're supposed to, your reference pin, you can use this with multiple pins or you can use it with one or two, but I use it with five. So you need to leave this on the reference pin. You have to designate a reference pin with your bow. So if you have one pin, you're fine. Anyway, getting back to it, you want to use this. So you're going to leave, you're going to put that X, if I can get this set up, if you can see it, just like that. So if the target, say like my target is at 20 yards, I leave the X on the center pin, the reference pin, and I put the 20 yard, tar 20 yard pin on the target. Then I shoot, and then I hit the target. That's how, that's how this is used. And so on and so forth. So say like the, say like the deer's at 30 yards, I'll keep the reference pin in the middle, with the X, and then I put my second pin, which is that yellow pin, it's kind of faint, that is going to be where I put my pin. I'll put that on the kill zone, and so on and so forth. 40-yard pin, it's now the reference pin. You leave the X on the reference pin, and then you put the 40-yard pin on the target. So then that will be where you're going to hit. So I used to have some called a tritium, a uh, Trugo tritium pin right here. But that ended up breaking on me, and it, the tritium started to um, go out after 12 years. It stopped working. So I ended up just putting a regular pin in the other day, and it works fine. So that's the hindsight. Um, you would adjust if you're shooting left or right. You obviously follow your, pin, your arrows, and you go from there. So you've got wing nut adjustments here and on the side here. And then if you're moving... The sight, you need to move your rear aperture as well. You have to move that. If you don't, you're going to be all over the place, and it's going to make your life hell. So that's the hindsight in a nutshell. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave a message down below, and I will get back to you about it. So, again, that's the hindsight. Thanks for watching.